part by Inked Playmats at inkplaymats.com. Your place for custom-made playmats. Design your own or shop from other featured designers. Use promo code CLOTS to save 10% on your order. Inked Playmats. Your game, your style. To do on their website and come join us for a fun-friendly F&M environment. Hello everybody, this is Kevin from Clots Productions, and welcome back to the final game of the match between Cold Author Red and Blue White Pike. Scudder started this game off by playing a mountain and using it to cast a goblin arsonist. However, Nick went down to 18 to cast a mental misstep and counter the arsonist. Then on his turn, he played a sea chrome coast and cast a delver of secrets. Then Scudder played a rootbound crag and put a signal pest into play. He then sacrificed the pest in order to cast a Cold Author Rebirth and get himself three goblin tokens. Nick revealed a Celestial Purge on the top of his library during his next upkeep, transforming his Delver into an Insectile Aberration. He then laid down an island and then attacked with the Aberration for 3, dropping Scudder to 17. For Scudder's next turn, he started off by resolving a Goblin Chieftain. Before it was able to attack, Nick used the Celestial Purge that he drew to exile the Chieftain. Then when Scudder attacked with the rest of his Goblins, Nick paid 2 life going down to 16 to cast Amaral Shards and kill them. Nick attacked with his Aberration again, dropping Scudder to 14. Then Scudder played another Goblin Chieftain, however it was met with a second Celestial Purge. Then Nick took Scudder to 11 with his Aberration. Then post-combat, he put a Sword of War and Peace into play. For Scudder's next turn, he resolved a Goblin War Driver along with a Signal Pest. Then Nick equipped his Sword to his Aberration and attacked for a total of 6 damage, dropping Scudder to 5. He also gained 3 life himself from the Sword, going back up to 19. Scudder didn't have any way to deal with the Aberration, so scooped it up after drawing his next card, giving Nick the win to the game and the match. So that's it for this video, I hope you all enjoyed it. You can find the full version in the annotations at the end, along with links to my Let's Play Duels of the Planeswalkers 2012, as well as my playtesting with my Glissa Grave deck. And as always, if you like this or any other video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and add it to your favorites, then subscribe to be notified when more videos are online.